Our brain is a fascinating organ. Abnormalities in our brain activity may lead to changes in our perception of reality. Let's take a look at a case study of a patient who learned this firsthand when she became unable to recognize herself in the mirror. One day, a 52-year-old woman was admitted to a hospital where she was presented with an altered mental status and disorganized thinking. The patient who has had a past psychiatric history of schizophrenia is well known by the hospital as she had had 8 admissions over the course of the last 6 years. During her admission, extensive medical testing was conducted including both physical and neurological examinations. The results of this testing came back unremarkable and her vitals were stable. Importantly, the neurological testing revealed no structural brain damage. Doctors decided to transfer her to their psychiatric hospital where she would show various psychiatric symptoms. For example, she would present herself to doctors using a different name than her real one and she was unaware of her age and date of birth. Further examination of her mental status revealed that she was displaying symptoms of irritability, grandiose thought content, and the presence of auditory hallucinations, paranoid illusions, and the false belief that she was pregnant. Although her schizophrenic symptoms were present in her past hospitalizations, she also showed some symptoms that had not been noted before. Specifically, on her fourth day in the hospital, the patient showed symptoms of mirrored self-misidentification, a condition in which a person perceives their mirror image as being another person. Patients with this condition are able to accurately recognize objects and other people in the mirror but are unable to recognize their own self-reflection. Instead, they are convinced that their own mirrored image is actually a stranger. The patient in this case study would report that the woman she saw in her own mirrored image is actually a different person who is simply wearing the same clothes as her. Further testing was conducted to examine the nature of her mirrored self-misidentification symptoms. In line with the previous literature, the patient was able to identify the presence of the mirror itself and was also able to recognize that the people and objects that she saw in the mirror were all reflections. Despite this, she was still unable to recognize that the person she saw when she looked herself in the mirror is actually a reflection of herself. She would instead ascribe another name and identity to the person she saw in the mirror and she was even found to be talking and arguing with her own self-reflection. In order to treat her symptoms, doctors decided to prescribe the patient antipsychotic medication. She was kept under close observation at the psychiatric hospital and was released two weeks later. Upon her discharge from the hospital, the patient showed significant improvements in her psychotic symptoms but unfortunately, her mirrored self-misidentification delusion still remained. Mirrored self-misidentification syndrome is a rare form of a condition called delusional misidentification syndrome or DMS. DMS is an umbrella term for various disorders in which patients have a false belief about the identity of a person, object, or places. Mirrored self-misidentification delusions are also closely related to Capgras syndrome. Capgras syndrome is a condition in which a person holds a delusion that a friend, spouse, parent, or other family member, or even a pet, has been replaced by an identical imposter. Disorders that fall under the DMS umbrella term, such as mirrored self-misidentification, are often observed in patients with Alzheimer's and the symptoms are typically a result of Alzheimer-related damage to the frontal and temporal cortex. However, as this case shows, mirrored self-misidentification syndrome is not necessarily caused by structural brain damage. Research shows that in about half of all DMS cases, structural brain imaging looks normal and in the majority of those cases, the patient have been diagnosed with schizophrenia or schizoaffective disorder. It is therefore likely that the mirrored self-misidentification in our case reports is related to abnormalities in brain activation related to the patient's schizophrenia. Positive symptoms in schizophrenia, such as delusions, paranoia, and hallucinations, are typically related to abnormalities in frontal and temporal brain activity as well as in the connectivity between these regions. Since no functional imaging was performed in our case study, whether our patient's mirrored self-misidentification syndrome was caused by these abnormalities remains speculative. We hope you enjoyed this extraordinary brain, and we hope to see you in the next video.